What's up everybody, it's Priyon Joni and I just got to my hotel here in Dallas, Texas. We got hot import nights tomorrow. I'm gonna be hosting the spin-off DJ and artist battle. Um, but right now, I was just thinking to myself to do a video for you guys. Uh, we're gonna call this video three things that you might or might not know about the DDJ SB3. Number one, so when you first see an SB3 and compare it to the previous model, the SB2, you notice that there is now a cue and play button and they moved the pitch fader from this side to the right on the left deck. Now, what you can't see is not only did they move the position of the pitch fader, they even increased the resolution. So one of the problems we had with the SB2 was that sometimes you're trying to zero in on that pitch value and it jumps by 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 and you can't quite get it to the right one. So now they improved it, and I noticed that when I'm mixing, it's actually zeroing in with no problems skipping around. Number two. So on the previous model, we had the SB3, and it was only equipped with four hot cues because the cue and play buttons were on the bottom. Now on the SB3, we have all eight hot cues accessible. Number three. So when I travel and I perform, one of the problems I sometimes come across is they might have the equipment I like or they might not and I just have to deal with what they got no matter what's on my rider because I'm not that big. Even if they have everything I want, let's say they have a Nexus mixer and they have CJs, if they don't update the firmware, sometimes it's not going to work with my computer. So I like, I, and then I have to deal with that issue and troubleshoot or just come up with a second solution that I'm not as happy to perform with. So I always learned when I'm doing local shows in Iowa, it's bring your own gear. One of the cool things about bringing your own gear, not only do you learn how to set it up, you always know the quality and the condition that that gear is in, so you're always comfortable with it. But when you're flying to a gig, it's not really that practical to bring that much equipment with you. However, when you have a small controller like this, you can actually put it inside a hard shell case and you can fit it inside your suitcase and there's still room for all your clothes and other gear. And now I don't have to worry about playing on crappy gear. And also the record box equivalent, the DDJ RB. So whatever small controller has the B from Pioneer, B for baggage. And let's not forget the DDJ Wego 1, 2, 3, and 4. So anyways, I hope to see you guys in Dallas later today by the time you see this video. Dallas Hot Import Nights, I'll be hosting the spinoff. We're giving over $600 worth of Pioneer DJ gear to the first place winner. So see you guys there.